Sean. So that's just a uh, Mazda Familiar 323, the old front wheel drive shape. But um, we cut the floor out, put a whole new floor in it from a DX Corolla. Wow. So it's running uh, rear wheel drive now. Um, just got the 13B Bridgie in there. Uh, big, big body drop before we welded it back together and, and uh, tucked the back. So I can sit nice and low. Still have a bit of treble. Um, just uh, got really the old school carburetor still with uh, this custom radiator, oil cooler. Just to make it go, really, just to have a bit of fun. So this was front wheel drive? Yeah, 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 it used to be front wheel drive. Bloody hell, so front wheel drive and the whole floor has been sheet yeah, metal. So the whole floor is new out of a DX Corolla station wagon. Yeah, so two cars made into one. What was that? What was the uh, the idea behind that? Was it sentimental or you well, just thought it was something cool to do? I bought this as a four wheel drive wagon thinking I could rear wheel drive it, but it wasn't going to work out like that. So I this was four wheel drive? It used to be, yeah, used huh. to be. And then I uh, had a DX Corolla sitting next to it, and I'm like, shit, they work about the same wheelbase, so I'll cut the body off that one and cut the floor out of that one and put them together. Yeah. Well, man. That's... A lot of work, um, full custom engine space, uh, running a Mitzi L300 dub, big solid dub, so they can really give us some shit and another break. Yeah, no, nah, just, just have a real bug out on the track and burn out pads. What sort of horsepower does the motor make? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's, it's, I've never been on it, I know, so. Um, just really unknown but and it'd have to do around the 200 yeah it'll yeah. be up, it'll be up it'll be about there so it's, it's been fully uh, worked by Lord and, Lord and Rotor Sport down in Wellington where we're from um, he sort of does all the work on the engine to make it real good and strong yeah what about the um how does it work getting these cars registered and, and on the road like what are the requirements in there? you got to jump through all the hoops mate jump all the hoops and then fingers crossed it passes on the other end. Is it engineered plates or papers? Is that how it works uh, here? You just have to run normal um, chassis tags and, and all that sort of stuff and then just get a certification for it. So you take it take it to a workshop and they look over it and make sure all the work you've done is okay. Yeah. Really? So what about brake upgrades and everything? So running a FX GT front brake. There's standard old drums in the back. And it still pulls up okay. Yeah, yeah it still stops good. It's got um, A86 suspension in the front, uh, just full, and then just flat and out leaves in the back. Yeah. When I first started showing it back uh, a couple of years ago, sort of every every show I went to, I just I sort of picked up the best conversion, or best 323, um, so I don't know, 10 or so. Yeah. Well, the X Corolla tunnel, the X Corolla tubs, but we sort of made them a bit bigger. Had to notch the floor for the diff head. Um, but just join the two cars on the sills, so on the inner sill is where we welded them together. So the outer is Mazda, but the inner is DX. So what was the reason for that? Because it was to make it rear wheel drive. drive. Yeah, 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 it had to go to that length. <laughs> so this would be the world's first and only... Um, there is one other wagon that's been rear wheel drive. They did it slightly different by using Skyline parts. Okay. Um, and it's a turbo, a four-cylinder turbo Mazda motor. Oh, that yeah, but this is the first yeah, rotor. Yeah, first rotor. All right, man, well, let's jump in and, um, yeah, go for a bit of a cruise. It's a solid axle, leaf springs, okay. locked, with a locked up in it. Just welded? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah a couple of Ks in. Yeah, <laughs> just to make it go sideways nice and easy. Thought I just put all my money into this thing and here we are, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Heath, man. Really appreciate it. No worries.